Arsenal have gone ahead to obviously protract their search and their big scoop of centre forwards this winter transfer window. And this time round, they've gone ahead to make a bid for Boha Morayal, who plays for the side called Hetafe. And guess what? The first bid has been rejected. Welcome to Rokani Media Football. Hope you guys are doing fine. This is a Frahi day. Muslims, the Muslims, Juma Karim, and the Christians. We cover you all in the precious blood of Jesus Christ, and we thank God and Allah for the gift of life. We are gonna talk huge about Dofan. That is Dofan Fofana. You know him very well. Twenty-one year old player who is a Chelsea player, and he's obviously going to be loaned. And um, it's just pending medical. It's a here we go, pronounced by Fabrizio Romano and David Austin. And lastly, we are going to have to look at what uh, this guy called... Uh, this girl called Frank De Jong is going to hate to say after they've gone ahead to obviously knock out Osasuna in the semifinals of the Supercopa Espana. And we are going to see what next for the side of Barcelona as they obviously... As they obviously prepare to play against Real Madrid in the final. Remember, Real Madrid beat Atletico Madrid 5-2 yesterday. Rock and David is my name and hope you guys are really having fun. Let's go eyes. Now, this is a story that was broken by the sun. It's not really a first-year source when it comes to the transfer news. I know the sun is so good when it comes to the lifestyle of the players. They are really so good. At Arsenal, the sun is very much remembered when they broke the photo in 2022 when Jesus arrived at Emirates to undergo his medical. And then they really had the exclusive rights, obviously, break those photos. Now, if I told you remember all that story, you cannot downplay this effort. You know, they're going to hate to put out that. Arsenal have made a 22, year, a 22 million bid for Hetafi striker Boja Morial. But Hetafe have knocked down back their initial offer as they hold out for closer to 39 million pounds for their start stri for their star striker. He has been followed. He has been followed closely by Arsenal since November after scoring 12 goals so far this term. That is story coming in through from the sun when you look at broja that is Bro broja you know boja morial is a 26 year spanish international you know if you are following him up is a 26 year 26 year old spanish international and i've always told you that at a point x ateta will go in for spanish players have you gone ahead to bring in Brazilians like Jesus, um, Marquinhos, there is Gabriel Jesus. Then he went ahead and really brought in Africans, Thomas Pate, right? You know, look at the likes of the Germany International, that is uh, Kai Havertz. He brought in the English players, Declan Rice. He brought in... Um, he brought in um, Benjamin White. Uh, we see the likes of Jakub Kivio. We've seen Trossard and very many other players coming in through the club of Arsenal. You know, Portuguese, that is uh, Fabio Vieira. And the Spaniards are in. First and foremost, David Raya came in through as a Spaniard. And now, Broja Morreal, he is on the cards, 26 years of age. He plays for Hetafi. And he has gone ahead to obviously score 12 goals this season in the Spanish La Liga. And he has one assist. In 19 games, he has 12 goals. It really makes you really know that he's a very good player. I've seen everything he puts up on the field of play. He's, um, I've seen his goals and uh, goals and shooting. Very, very good. He's a clinical finisher. If I told you, really, really look at his runs. He has those runs of a typical number nine. And um, or aerial prowess, that is heading the ball. And uh, back of the head is good. He plays well with his back to goal. And um, intensity is, is right. Then when you look at um, how he dribbles, he's really great. And I think he's really 
a different number nine from Gabriel Jesus because when you look at how he obviously finds spaces at the near post, at the back post, in the middle of the goal, it shows you exactly what he's all about. And the holder play is really great. He can really do the needful and act as a perfect focal point for the club of Arsenal. But 22 million pounds submitted and rejected by the side of us, but by the side of Hetafe. What does that mean? It means that a team wants close to 39 or 40 million pounds. And I know why they're okay with letting him go. Do you know what? They're really having Mason Greenwood in them. Mason Greenwood can also play as a number nine. <laughs> that is it. And he has been played um, in the middle. Some games, we've seen that all. And sometimes he has been played as a right attacking midfielder. That is Mason Greenwood for you. Remember, Mason Greenwood is on loan. And I think he has like five goals in his recent game that was going to hate to play for this club of Hetafe. And it looks like they are very much welcome to get that money because they know they can get in other players of quality in the summer and Mason Greenwood can help them really do the needful. So, when Arsenal points on a Spanish player, you really understand how that, the Spanish inlet for Arsenal has been opened. David Raya is in. If at all, Bro Jamreal comes in through. There is Zubumendi, another Spanish player that Arsenal is really looking at. I even read a story yesterday that Arsenal is in for Pedri. So, they are really huge admirers of Spanish players right now. And Ateta wants to bring in players from Spain. As any manager does, we've seen it. Look at Eric Ten Hag at the club of Manchester United. The Dutch, Malaysia. He brought in Veghorst. Mm, he wanted Frankie de Jong. Which other Dutch, which other Dutch player? You know, Dema Freeze was wanted for Impong. He's still wanted in there for you. So it shows you exactly. Even Julian Timber, who is currently at Arsenal, was wanted by Eric Ten Hag. And uh, when you look at Pep Guardiola, he has a lot of Spanish players going to have to bring in through at the club of Manchester City, who are really nationals with him, uh, like uh, Rodri. Um, there is this other guy who is now playing for Barcelona. Ferran Torres is Spanish. Um, who else is Spanish? Who else is Spanish? Spanish, Spanish. Well, these managers have a tendency of getting in players who are really nationals. And they try to obviously boost them. But the big question is, 40 million pounds could be like 10 million pounds less from Solanke. And 40 million pounds off from the price of Ivan Tony that Brentford really want to see to it that they obviously keep or they obviously sell the player. Now, of those three deals, which one could Arsenal do? I think if at all I'm Arsenal, I could add more 10 million pounds and get in Dominic Solanke. Right? Because in the generator transfer window to go in for a center forward who is coming in from spain he might not hit the ground running yet solanke will come in through and obviously hit the ground running i tell you solanke is a better striker than edin katia that is it because it has just gonna have to take him long to obviously become what is gonna have to become i'm going to highlight more about that in the next video i'm gonna do about solanke because i have facts backed with this guy one of those players that just needed where to obviously just needed a place that was going to believe in him and maybe a manager who was going to construct a system that will fit him into the team and score very many goals. So, they might obviously make what we call a swap and take him to, and take Anketia to Hetafi and then getting in Broja, you know, Montreal, that can also be possible. So, very many possibilities can be looked at, but it depends on what Hetafi want. Do Hetafi want a striker like Nketia or they want money? <laughs> that is the biggest bit of it all. So wait and see how that happens. And if I told Mikel Ateta and Edu insist that they are going in for Broja, for Borja, Montreal, then that means they might be considering to obviously sell Ed Nketia and getting more money to obviously get in the center forward. That is it. So guys, thank you very much for watching through onto that. It is just a snippet and I'm waiting for further, further updates coming in through from other people but the sun i'm gonna hate to break the story 
and we are waiting to see how credible this story is and how what the likes of Fabrizio Romano are gonna really say about it. Now, Chelsea has gone ahead to obviously terminate a contract of another player that is for Fana. I think was playing um he was playing was it in Italy? And they've gone ahead to bring him back. And having gone ahead to bring him back, like they brought Santos back, they've gone ahead to obviously agree a deal with Burnley. Burnley is a team that is managed by company and they are really struggling for their lives. You know, relegation is really a place for them now. But you also understand that they're really having problems when it comes to scoring goals. And Datro Fafana, who was signed from Norway by Chelsea, is one of those that has been scouted by Burnley. And finally, they've gone ahead to get him on a, on a, on a loan. And this story was broken by David Austin that Burnley have agreed a deal in principle with Chelsea for Datro David Fofana to join on loan until the end of the season. The 21-year-old will fly in tomorrow all today and undergo medical in the next 48 hours ahead of the po proposed move. That is David Austin. Then we had Fabrizio Romano coming in through with a very huge update to that. Datro Fofana to Burnley. Here we go. Agreement in place for the striker to join on on loan deal understand there is no buy option chelsea believe premier league experience will be key medical on saturday salary 100 percent covered by burnley first call by david austin so this is really very important for you to note that burnley have been having problems when it comes to scoring goals and that Fafana, i think is gonna really help them i saw that Fafana. um i think chelsea was playing which team was it Manchester united Last season, all um, was it Arsenal? Was it Manchester City? He is a very good striker. That is it. Very, very good striker. And that for Fafana is really a player that just needs a team to give him enough playing time. That is it. If company really makes him a first teamer in the starting eleven of Burnley on a regular, I think he's gonna come out and really solve very many problems. One. He's an energetic player. His physicality is really undoubted. And the way he busts into space to really threaten the opponents is really great. His physicality is undoubted. And he is a press-resistant striker, left-footed. But even the right foot can obviously do the job. Burnley have always lacked a focal point. And each and every time I've been watching their games, I've been really, 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 really clinical, sorry, critical onto how they like, they're lacking a number nine. Because if you are to talk about some of the teams that really do their build up very well and, until they really get into the final third of the pitch, it's Burnley. But they lack that clinical or lethal striker to obviously put those balls at the back of the net. And they finally got one, and that is Datro Fafana. And I hope that loan is obviously going to work out well for Datro Fafana. Then lastly, let's talk about Barcelona that have gone ahead, obviously, knock out Osasuna in the semi-finals of the Super Copa trophy that was played in Saudi Arabia. Frank De Jong has gone ahead and really said the following. There are two days for the final, which is more than enough time because we did not play extra time and we will not have to travel. We will be ready. So two days, that means Saturday is, sorry, Sunday is the day. Sunday is the day when everything is going to be really made upright for the side of Barcelona. And another El Clasico comes in through to see to it that these two really face off. Remember, the first El Clasico, Real Madrid went to, um, to Camp Nou and they defeated Barcelona by, I think, three goals to one. Jude Bellingham, I think, was a orchestrator for two of those goals and went ahead to obviously put in a lot of effort. So, guys... Thank you very much for watching through. Rock and David is my name. I call upon for your reactions onto Arsenal's bid for Broja Morial rejected by Hetafe. And what do you make about it? Uh, do you want Arsenal to continue and really bid until their bid is met or the expectation of Hetafe is met? Over to you. Then what do you make about David Datro Fofana to Burnley? on loan with no option to buy will he solve the the problems of company and his team for not scoring goals and lastly what do you make about the so-called el clasico that's going to be played on sunday you know 
if Barcelona wins it or Barcelona, sorry, if Madrid wins it or Barcelona, they walk away with 1.5 million euros. May the living to God bless you abundantly. Rokan David remains my name. A sign out for now. Sweet as the Muslims, Juma Karim. It's a Friday.